Hey, and welcome to Paper Root Scrapbooking. I'm Nadine, and today I'm participating in 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life, Series 16. Hello, everyone, and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be working with this beautiful sketch from Rebecca Lockhart, and she is on YouTube as Rebecca. Becca Lockhart Scraps, I believe. So I will have her YouTube channel linked in the description box. So just hit that show more or more button, depending on where you're watching from. And then you will be able to see all the links to uh, Christy's Beautiful Life Facebook page and fa or sorry, Facebook group where you can look at all of the sketches in the albums and she has 16 albums of 30 sketches which is 480 sketches which is a lot of sketches so go check that out if you haven't already and the youtube channel chrissy's beautiful life youtube channel where you can find the collaborative playlist where everybody who has a youtube channel and wants to play along can post their videos to the same playlist so you can just hit play and watch everybody's take on the different sketches which is super cool and we can post as often or as little as we like. So if you're just doing a few sketches or if you're gonna do all 30 sketches. So there are some content creators who are doing all of them and a few of them. And it's quite the um, playlist, so go check it out. Today, uh, Rebecca made this beautiful sketch with these lovely florals. And I had the same number of photos as she had put on here but I didn't feel like these photos deserved or needed the real estate in my album that Rebecca had made her beautiful sketch with. So I just condensed the sketch into a one page layout. And so this is what I came up with. So I took the three, um, three by four photos horizontal and I put them in a row and I used kind of this side in terms of like where I placed my papers. So I used that background piece as my green piece here. And then I took the pink and literally also used pink <laughs> and put that over here. I think I did that in like a three and a half by 12 piece. And then I just took a um, border sticker and laid it down here and this border sticker like most was not a full 12 inches so I did cut it here and then just covered up the gap with my photo um, and then I took the 4 by 6 photo that she had here and I just scooched it over a little bit so that all of my photos fit on one page now if this was a different um, topic or something like if this was my granddaughter or a family photo shoot or something I might have actually used all of that real estate in my album but because this is a trip album and this is how much space I had left in the album I turned it into a one pager so that is what I did um, Rebecca had her title on top of her embellishments here but I just moved my title on top of my uh, photo here because there was some space up here so that is how I interpreted this sketch and I'm just going to set that up here for now. And I was using another homemade kit that just kind of combined a whole bunch of loose um, basic gray papers, like older stuff. And it had like all these different <laughs> uh, basic gray stickers and stuff. And I think these are like punch outs or something. And then, so I just used the alphas that were in there to make my title as well. So that's where I got that and the border sticker from. And then I just used black cardstock to map my photos. And I think that's as far as I got in terms of uh, prepping my layout before coming on camera. And then I did type up my journaling. And I think I'm just going to plunk my journaling right down underneath of there. And I'm going to uh, use these. I have like a little mishmash of enamel dots tucked in here. I don't think they are all close to my heart anymore. I think they're just a bunch of black enamel dots that were loose in the box and I just shoved them all in here. 
I also have a few labels that match with what I'm doing there. So I'm going to use those. I'm going to use some ticket. I think these are from 49 and Market. I had these random stickers that say time. And I thought that was, these are from Alcatraz. So I thought that worked for here because like serving time, right? Uh, which is the same reason why I thought clocks work uh, with these. So I pulled some more clocks. I also love clocks. I don't know. I like the shape of them. I like the look of them. I feel like they could go on anything, passage of time, etc., etc. And so here's what I'm thinking. I'll lay it all out really quick and then I'll pause the camera and uh, glue things down and then come back. Okay. So this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking uh, like embellishment spot here, embellishment spot here, and embellishment spot up here. And each one will get one of these. They're stickers, so I'm just going to leave them on the sticker sheet for now. Every spot is going to get one of these. Also... Um, this one might go this way. This one, no, maybe that way. And then everything's gonna get a one of these little green labels. Also, somewhere we'll tuck in there. And then. Each clock will get, like, some of these are really giant compared to the clock, but I think that's okay. I think it'll still look really cool. And then each one will also get one of these big gold brads. There we go. And then each one is going to get one of these silver gears. And I'm missing the third one. Boy, I lost the last layout I did. I lost my little people. And this time I lost one of my gears. Like, what is happening? So this is going to go on last. Each one will get... Uh, oh, there it is. It's like right in the middle. So there we go. A brad will hold down those um, arrow pieces for the middle of the clock. And then... I have these little guys and I'm not really sure how to incorporate them, but I was going to do arrows and then I thought I had like random bits of these chevrons left and they're not all the same size, but I think I'm just going to find a way to make them work. I'm not really sure how yet, but I will. It's just going to happen. Maybe this one can be all three different sizes. And then the other two can all match, have matchy sizes. Yeah. And then maybe I need to go find some little brads for these little tags. What do you think? Okay, so those are what my clusters are going to kind of look like. And then when we come back, I'll stamp my date, which I didn't reset because my last layout was about this same topic or um like the same visit to Alcatraz and so I'll just stamp it I think down here somewhere and then we'll put on some enamel dots okay so hang on I'll be right back all right so here is what I came up with I did get those little chevron pieces on top of my little label strips not super happy with the way that I put these ones on. I feel like they're pointing the wrong way, but I used white glue, so I guess that's where they're going to stay. It's fine. Now that I look at the whole thing, it's actually okay. I feel like I was sweating the small stuff there, but that's okay. And then I felt like there was like a weird space here, so I just uh, went looking for something and found this green arrow brad, and I put that on there, so a little stash bash there. So basically, I got a label, a ticket, a tag sticker, a clock with a little arrow brad, and a gold circle, and a gear in each cluster around the page. And then while I'm putting on my um, 
enamel dots around the page I think I'm just gonna tell you about our little trip to the um the hole as they call it the solitary confinement area in Alcatraz was very fascinating apparently and if you've been following me at all you'll know that I like kind of um creepy haunted sorts of um, excursions when I travel and this was no exception so this is number 11 but number and number 13 is the famous one we did go buy it but it was closed the day that we were there um, so it says this is the legendary solitary confinement area of the Alcatraz prison which is said to be haunted People have claimed to have seen a pair of red eyes staring back at them when visiting the cell blocks. Um, Mark went in captivated by the history of the criminals who spent time here but didn't see any red eyes staring back at him. So he is very fascinated by the, well, any mental illness really, um, criminal mind kind of thing so he's uh he was a social worker by trade for a long long time and now he is a therapist so he uh just is very interested in people and the way they think and how they feel and why they make the decisions that they do so this was just one more thing he was very interested in knowing about and I, I'm interested in that stuff too, but not to the extent that he is. I don't research it to death and that kind of thing. I just, I like to know, I like to learn. So yeah, it was fascinating. I did not want to walk in there though. I don't know if you can tell from the photo, but um, the way that it worked was that this door opens and then there's like a little hallway and then there's the cell door. So there would be like one guard out here lets in the guard and then this guard goes in and then brings the food so like this door would be closed when somebody would go in to bring the prisoner their food or clothes or whatever the case may be so it was like two levels of security to be inside of solitary so it was quite the ordeal and then this looks like a painting even to me from the photo um, but it's actually a window and so if you if you were able to get close enough to look through these little windows this was a window that you could kind of see if you were looking out from here and if you were exiting solitary and going up to this second level you would have passed this tiny little window that looked out across the bay to the uh, mainland so it was i was like that that would be so awful if that was the only view to the outside that you got for a certain amount of time i don't know it was hard to imagine what that would be like but anyway so that's my layout for today uh i think that's it thank you so much for hanging out with me again i really appreciate you guys being here and if you have any questions or comments please don't hesitate to type them in there. I love hearing from you guys. And I do try to respond to everybody when I get a chance. And I hope you all have a great day. Bye for now.